Hello everyone, uh, myself Shailendra Suryavashi, working as assistant professor in the department of pharmaceutical chemistry, Kelly College of Pharmacy, Belgavi. Today we are going to discuss on the instrumentation of HPLC. So what is HPLC? HPLC stands for High Performance Liquid Chromatography. Next we will see what is the principle involved in the HPLC. So the principle involved in the HPLC is based on the partition coefficient. When components to be separated, it's made to dissolve in the mobile phase and when you are allowing to run the through the column system, then the separation will taking place based on the partition coefficient value. The component who have the higher value of the partition coefficient will travel slow and elude later. Whereas the component who have the lower value of partition coefficient, they will be travel fast and elude first. So this is about the principle involved in the HPLC. Next coming towards the applications of the high performance liquid chromatography. So it is one of the very important chromatography technique. It is also called as a separation technique and it is used in the uh, pharmaceutical industries, herbal industries and also some research and uh, development units, also some bioanalytical bio industries to carry out the separation of mixture of components into the individual fraction. It is mainly used for the qualitative and quantitative analysis of the drug, drug products and the active pharmaceutical ingredients. Also it is used to carry out some uh, impurity profile and the degradation products to find out the also the percentage purity of the drug and drug products and the active pharmaceutical ingredients. It plays a very important role in the herbal industries for the quality control of the phytoconstituent from the extract. It is used to isolate, separate, characterize and to quantify the various ex uh, extracts and their phytochemicals from the herbal formulation. Also it plays a very important role in the bioanalysis of the drug. So whenever we are having the drug and the drug product and the drug metabolite in the biological fluid. This biological fluid may include the blood, blood plasma, urine etc. So from this uh, we can quantify how much amount of the drug and the metabolites which are present in that particular fluid uh, with the help of this uh, HPLC instrument and the chromatography techniques we can quantify the things. Next uh, we will move towards the, uh, the major instrumentation part. So in our college uh, we are having the Agilent instrument. So Agilent the make is uh, 1220 infinity 2. So this is our the instrument. Now we will move towards the different parts of the instrument. So we are having uh, the hardware part. So this is called the hardware part. And this side we are having the software part. So this hardware part is going to be connected with the, the PC uh, which is having the software. So next uh, just we will see what are the different parts of the this instrument. So just I will open the one by one part and just I will explain the things. So we are having the first part, it is a very important part, uh, like it is a solvent reservoir, followed by we have the pumping system, next we are having the injector port, after injector port uh, we are having the column port, here we are going to keep the column system or it is also called as a stationary phase, followed by we are having the detector part, now this is about the hardware, so coming towards the one by one instrumentation part, so this is the solvent compartment or the solvent reservoir. Here we are having the two bottles, mainly the bottle A and the bottle B. So here uh, in the bottle way mainly we used to keep the uh, solvents like the aqueous solvent whereas in the bottle B we are going to keep the non-aqueous solvent and these bottles are made up of the glass. These uh, wires, uh, bottles are going to be connected with the uh, uh, wire pipes which are connected to the pump. This pump uh, it is a high pressure pump. Uh, which is going to be pump the solvent from the solvent reservoir with the high pressure and going to inject it into the injector port followed by the stationary phase or the column. So this is the uh, very dynamic part or the mobile part of the instrument and they play a very important role. Next after the pumping system we are having the injector port. So here we are having the automated sample injector port. So it having some like trace. So this is called as a solvent tray, uh, sample tray. So this sample tray is having total uh, 100 uh, vials to put. We can put the 100 vials. And this is called as an HPLC vials. So this HPLC vials are also made up of the uh, some glass materials. So here we can put our sample to be analyzed. So we have to make the dilutions and the dilutions containing the analyte in the different concentration we can fill into this HPLC vials. So these vials are also made up of the azulene and around uh, 1.5 or 2 ml uh, sample can be put into these vials and after keeping these vials into the tray, the tray can be inserted 
and we, we can make the instrument for the ready for injection. Next coming to the column port. This column port is also called as a stationary uh, port. Or uh, here we are going to keep the column system. So this is the uh, column, the stationary phase, which is connected to the injector port, and then it is connected to the detector. So different types of columns uh, we are going to have. So there are mainly two types of column. This is called as a main column. and another one column is called as an a guard column so that guard column is going to be protect the life span of this uh, main column then this main column is made up of the uh, different types of material like uh, steel and all those things and that column is going to be filled with some uh, stationary phases like silica gel and all and uh, this can be act as a stationary phase so whenever you are injecting the sample through this injector uh, that injector will take the sample from this and it is going to uh, send to the stationary phase when the uh, analytes is going to be made injected into the stationary phase that then the separation will take place based on the affinity that is a partition coefficient suppose the component have the major affinity towards the stationary phase then traveling will be slower and the elution will be the also the slow whereas the component suppose if they have the very less affinity towards the stationary phase then traveling will take place somewhat fast and they that particular analyte will be eluting fast So this is about the column system or the stationary phase port. Once the analytes are going to be separated from this column system, they will be inserted into the detector part. So this detect uh, detector is going to be help to detect the compound uh, in the whatever we are going to separate it from that uh, stationary phase. They are going to be detected uh, with the help of uh, UV or PDA detector. So there are different types of detectors uh, in the HPLC we are having. Uh, we are having the PDA detector. We are also having the UV uh, detector. We are having the refractive and the fluorescence detector. So in our HPLC, we are uh, having the uh, PDA detector. And when the detection of the compound is going to get over, the whatever the waste is there, that is going to be collected in the waste portal or the waste collect. That is called as a collector. So this is about the hardware part of the our uh, HPLC instrument. Next, we'll move towards the software part. So here we are having the uh, chem station as a software in our uh, PC. So it is having again the different port. It is having like uh, method development, method validation, and the data analysis part will be there. Then data analysis, review, review, uh, report layout will be there, and data verification will be uh, helpful. So here uh, the method and run control is a uh, very important. So here I have opened the method and run control. So whenever we are going to develop uh, and validate the method. So this part play a very important role. So here it contains we are having the sampler, the gradient pump, column uh, one, that uh, this is called as a detector. So it here this is called as a sampler. So how much amount of the sample can be injected uh, from that sample while into the system that can be set here. Uh, whereas next we are having the gradient pump. So gradient pump is having uh, here uh, we are having the application like we are having the two bottles in our hardware part. so from each bottle how much amount of the mobile phase can be inserted into the column system that can be that data can be set into here so also at 1 ml how much amount of the mobile phase can be inserted or can be injected into the system that also can be uh, kept uh, recorded in this uh, gradient pump system next we are having the column oven so this column oven play a very important role when we are having the sample which are temperature sensitive so like suppose if we are having one particular drug and that can be analyzed at a very like 25 degrees celsius or 10 degrees celsius or 15 degrees celsius so that time the temperature sensitivity is play a very important role so that time this temperature oven or the column oven play a very important role so at what temperature we are going to carry out the analysis of that particular analyte so that can be set into this column oven next followed by we are having the dad so that is called as a detector Uh, so here we are having the PDA detector. Suppose you are we are having one compound which is a UV sensitive or the uh, yeah, the compound can be analyzed by using the UV. So suppose we are having one the caffeine and it is going to be detected at the 273 degree Celsius, uh, sorry 273 uh, degree nanometer. So that particular uh, nanometer can be set here and the analysis can be carried out and the compound can be detected at that particular. Uh, nanometer so here this is pd detector plan very important one it is can uh, wide variety or the wide range of the uh, compounds can be analyzed by using this uh, uh, dad detector so once this analysis over we can uh, analyze our sample in the data analysis and the report can be generated once that chromatogram is generated that chromatogram can be used to utilize for the 
quality application and the quantity application. So in the chromatogram we are having the different uh, parts like the uh, we will be having the RT that is called the retention time. So this retention time play a very important role for the qualitative analysis. So only we can say that whether that compound is there or not and what is the retention time of that compound we are having. Followed by uh, next part for the quantity application in the area uh, in the chromatogram we are calculating the area that area can be used for the our quantitative application. So this is overall about the HPLC instrument and uh, this is uh, we are having in our college. Thank you.